This is Scott from Computer Fusion. I thought it might be helpful to make a little video illustrating how to uh, set up the bias in this computer. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it on. And let, so I suspect that you had a catastrophic loss of the stored CMOS information and you need to enter the bias to uh, reconfigure. So I hit F1 here. So if it ever loses its settings again, uh, when it turns on, you can see this screen. We press F1. And then it should detect the hard drive and CD-ROM there. And you see, once again, the hard drive CD-ROM. But uh, I got it booting on the drives that it was shipped with just by pressing F9, set up defaults. Okay. I went, I right arrowed over to this advanced, and I hit F9 there, which I think is redundant. Sorry, my monitor doesn't like the resolution. I think it's redundant, but I did it anyhow. And then over here in the boot section, F9. But I think it loads the defaults all around. And then I did exit, right arrow to it, and save changes. And that was it. I was able to boot to the hard drives that were, came with it. But all three of them had some corrupt corrupted directory structure. I suspect that is because the uh, settings for the hard disk weren't default when you were using them and if you boot to an ID hard drive where the CMOS settings have changed from the time it was originally partitioned then that can lead to corruption of either the partition table or the uh, file allocation table. Right, so it's booting up here and this is going to eventually fail because it's not going to find me whatever it is it's trying to connect to. But So I'm shipping it now with three hard drives that have all been restored with that CD that I brought or shipped you. Okay, that's it. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and you can look at it. Oh, I guess I'm finished giving up on that. I'm going to turn the computer off here shut down and shut down.